a kid growing up. Unless I'm in Nihon Nito. Very honestly. Yeah, I could, I could see that. But now we're having Nito versus Zumbra. <laughs> Wait, question. Did your parents ever have like a nickname for you? Um, They did, but it wasn't in Spanish. What was it? That's a time for another tale. That's a, time, <laughs> that's a story that's for another time. time. All right. <laughs> time for another tale? I was like, yo, yeah. I'm all ears, man. Yeah, we don't have enough time for, for that one, so... I don't know. Maybe y'all hear it at Switch Fest, which, by the way, is coming up this weekend. Yep. If you are not registered for Switch Fest, today is the last day. Last day. I, I think you will pay in person, right, if you come to WNF also. Yes, if you're here within the next 30 minutes, because that's probably when we're going to leave. You can pay. totally pay in person. <laughs> Somebody at home is, like, sitting on his couch like, oh, shoot. I got to go. <laughs> I got to go. <laughs> I don't have money on my card or something. Like, I got to go pay in person. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, Switch Fest this weekend, it's going to be a lot of fun. But right now, Naito versus Lumbre. Lumbre has been making waves, and man, he's been on the come up. It's yeah. been really great seeing this this uh, caliber of a player really grow towards, you know, being here in Loser's Finals of Wednesday Night Fights. I mean, it all started right back a couple tournaments ago where Lumbre kind of made a name for himself. Unranked player from SoCal, beating out one of the... Uh, Top three best players in NorCal. I think it started up earlier than that because, you know, he's been slowly on the rise. Yeah, I mean, the yeah. Inland Empire, honestly, they've kind of dominated our region for in the lower, lower part of the PR. But now they're looking to cement themselves, honestly, in terms of PR in general and possibly top 10. I mean, we have Nitro in top 10, Razo in top 10, and they could be going a little bit higher in the PR season. That's true. If Moonbreak continues to improve and get those wins like he has, we could definitely see him on the PR. Yeah. Naito on the come up as well. I mean, and Ken is that wild card character where you never know just who he's just going to, you know, really come out on top of. Yeah. I gotta choose my words carefully there. I don't wanna. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you don't wanna tell the whole crowd back at home, my like, guy, right, man, this whole thing really works. <laughs> okay, good. Easy bread and butter, 23 damage. Okay. I was looking for a bread and butter right there coming out from Nito. He almost spiked Lumbre off to the stage. This is big damage here, but not gonna be able to finish off with that forward smash. Nido is just good swinging those off. legs. I like the way that Lumbre is going off stage though. He's, he's not really going too far to challenge uh, Naito's recovery. He goes far enough though. For but he sure. does go far enough. Yeah. If, if, if Naito like does a uh, jumps immediately, he would get caught. And really, it looks like Lumbre. That's just the option. That Lumbre oh, has. great whiff on this too because he knows Naito is going to come with one of those options. Honestly, for Nito, the one thing that kind of cost him the stock on the percent there was he kept trying to come back to the stage, and I felt like he should have been looking to focus himself more for him towards uh, grabbing the ledge. Towards the end, it looks like that was the deal here, but unfortunately, Pickett done it much faster than Ken's landing. With that, Shoryu will be much faster to actually take care of the stock against Lumbrae. Characters that can just convert into kills from just about any hit. That's really both these characters. That is true. That is so true. I mean, so you really can't say, like, you can't call shenanigans for Ken landing a down air and beating that to a kill. Because Ness has some crazy shenanigans himself. Ness definitely has some shenanigans. That is a good word for Ness. Shenanigans. Oh, this is big. Ooh. He's got him at the corner, too. It looks like Nito wanted to get the spike off one of the combos here. Great opportunity for him to find a whiff punish. Definitely oh. getting used to Nito's side stalls. Yeah, using the side stall. Oh, he brought this back. Stalling right into a parry, and that's going to put Nido in the he advantage. He brought this back. We have a couple down tilts into the roundhouse. And the he brought this, yeah, he brought this back so hard. What a, what a deficit for Lumber to have Nido between him and Nido. No, 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 no. So, before the tournament started, I had actually was listening to a conversation that Lumber and Roger were having, and Lumber was saying that he... He's really having issues just closing out matches because he gets in his own head. Uh, yeah. And I feel like that's the product of what we just saw. He had the lead. He was very, he was very, looking very comfortable up until that last stock, and then it started to look forced. Yeah. And it happens. Sometimes players get in that whole, like, I want the victory rather than the game you itself. Don't look at the trophy, man. Exactly. Don't look at the trophy. Look at the fight. The fight's the one thing that matters more than the trophy. You get, you get the trophy after the fight, not, not in the middle of it or during. 
And it looks like Lumeray kind of just switching that switch in his head. Hopefully, looking to see the fight itself. Because he's still got a solid deficit between him and Nita, but we kind of saw how that happened last game. PK fire, and I like the tech chase here. Goes all the way for that neutral air. Sends the PK flinter down, looking to catch Nito on the right end of the stage. Great shield pressure, oh, but unfortunately, that was so going to be so big. What? And the DI mix up! The DI mix up! That is crazy. Nido taking full advantage of Lumbre charging up smash, knowing that there's only going to be one hit as the yo-yo swings. Gets a fully charged focus attack and converts <laughs> into a kill. That is the play that you see that like of, of a future top player. Yeah, for sure. And on, trying to make moves and make a name, that is what you want to see. Could have not said it better myself, Zufi. And immediately Loomer trying to make sure he stays in the game for himself. He's got Nito back at that deficit that he had in the first stock. Double back air here. PK Thunder to kind of cover that low recovery because he knows Ken's going to go for that focus attack cancel. And he goes for the right smash option, reading the roll getup. If I one more time, goes for the back throw, I like him, sent him off the stage, and he was looking for that early spike. He was looking for that early spike, but in, but a very fast top to mark, he's going to put a hitbox out, kind of really eliminating any approach that Lumbre had off stage. Okay, but these two are just trading with each other now, just continue, as you can see, you know, deficit isn't too far from, from these players. Oh, okay. shield poke. Shield, watch that shield poke, because if that didn't shield poke, that could have been a broken shield. That'll be a, not a broken shield, but definitely a broken stock as it brings it down to even stock. Deficit from the last game. Here can Luke be the one person to close the stock out. He hits oh, himself hit a little hit bit. Hit. To, oh, no. Second attempt. Not going to be it. Maybe the third time might be the charm if he gets the opportunity here. And you mentioned earlier, right? At that point, it starts to become like uh, he's he gets in his own head, right? I, you know, I don't want to call it the commentator curse here, but with this person with how much damage Ken does, if Nito gets one more combo, it's pretty much even game, but he gets a side stall and a good gentleman jab. Okay, but the PK Thunder does connect in that sense. Lumbre in a good position, yep. Yep. As one thing that Lumbre's been doing very well is keeping Nido, eliminating Nido's use of focus attack. Yeah. Outside of that one uh, instance where uh, Lumbre was charging up smash and Naito was really <laughs> able to uh, convert. Lumbre has been doing a good job using PK Thunder, having the tail end actually connect with, uh, with the focus attack and then having PK Thunder break the uh, focus attack. And honestly, as seeing as how Lumbre is playing the matchup, he makes he wants to make sure he takes care of one of Ken's best tools, right? Um, the recovery is the focus attack. Once you eliminate that from Ken's recovery tools, the rest kind of falls down into like what you can do next. Another game on Pokemon Stadium, and you can see Lumbre is sort of walling off with this multi-attack up there. Oh, uh, what a great start for Lumbre. What a, what a change up, too, honestly. You kind of saw how Nito would play the first game, right? Gets the spike on him, but Lumbre immediately sends the message, and quickly as possible. Yeah, answering right back. You can see another big hit thunder. He's going to go for it again, oh. but a good SDI from Nido and dropping down, trying to answer right back. <laughs> Lumbre trying to make sure he also answers right back immediately. Like you said, he makes sure he hits the tail and then the actual hit itself, stopping the focus attack. Lumbre was such a strong lead. He goes extra low because he knows Nito has no other place to go. Focus attack's not going to be a good option. Yeah, you can get a little bit of distance if you cancel it, but Ness has so many multi hits in yeah. the air that he's going to break it. He's going to break your focus attack. Gets the drag down from the PK Thunder, but good defense from Naito. Yep, and great DI coming out from Lumbre, knowing I have to DI down in a way as soon as possible with Naito. Make sure that if he's gonna st stall himself at the ledge, there has to be something there in place to okay. stop him. Naito gets the first Down air, block. or no, he missed the opportunity here, but he has him low and no, can no. not recover. <laughs> Give this man the 2-1 lead, Lumbre at match point. What? What an adaptation we've seen from Lumbre. If you had said, if you had told me that you could see the future and that we were going to have the quickest game three and it's going to go in Lumbre's favor, I would have said, what's in those Red Bulls? <laughs> <laughs> Sugar free, man. Sugar free. <laughs> you know, man, if you, if you would have come up to me in Smash 4 Z Fly and you would have told me, like, look, I'm going to tell you right now, Snake is back. I would have told you you're a liar. <laughs> I would have called you a liar to your face. <laughs> exactly. I would have told you, like, yo, man, you're lying to me. I thought there was only enough cloud height, but I guess we're getting everybody back in the game. No. 
everybody hype. All right, man. Well, hopefully everybody's hyped up for game four, and hopefully this is the set point for Lumber to take a 3-1. Oh, we'll Nito finally get a revenge here, and so far he's looking to be the one starting off with a percent lead. And honestly, more more 10 action for me is, is always a, a positive thing. I, I know it gives uh, some people some anxiety attacks, especially, you know, their opponents, but more 10, I mean, this is Wednesday Night Fights. If Ken's going to thrive, it should definitely be here. Yeah. I mean, honestly, this is the tournament for Ken to actually thrive, too. We don't have any Ken representation, and it's great to see it here at a great uh, tournament here known as Wednesday Night Fights. There's a lot of FGC games around, too. Oh, shield pressure and the shield poke. That's one thing I feel like when you fight Ken, right, your first defense is when Ken gets close to you is to hold shields. But he does so much damage and has enough combo to actually shield poke you for it. <laughs> It's almost like yes, please. But at the same time, you don't want to get you don't want to get sure you can that this low percent. Right. So if it's shield pokes, he's gonna send you like you know he's gonna send you away. You're not in the you're not uh, sure you can isn't a threat. Yeah, that is true. It is better to take the shield poke rather than sure you. Hashtag PK Thunder once more. Oh, the chase. Yep. This time Nito able to land on the platform. Umbra holds the shield and is able to survive the shield poke. The one thing that you can also do to uh, probably prevent more shield pokes is actually angling your shield. So so that's something I don't see from a lot of players. But either way, Lumbra was able to survive that. Not able to survive them. I'm sure you. Facing out back airs, throwing out a lot of these quick aerials. I like the drift all the way, going, recovering so low and using the wake, the wake up attack to uh, stop that yo yo action. Yeah. Down tilt, nice. Oh, miss input. Good tech chase though, and then it's the Shore. You, Moonbray with great DI still surviving here. He's looking to take the stock against the Nido, but Nido, like I said, looking to make sure that game four is going to turn into a game five. Mm -hmm. Cross up forward air. Oh, the shield poke, so much damage. Down smash to punish. Running up Merrick, but he doesn't catch him. Just chasing Lumbre all over this stage. But yeah, that's a laggy S yes, now. She's gonna get stuck in for it. I kinda like how I'm just watching Razo watch his own boys go at it. Let's see, who like am I gonna- a proud father. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's like a proud father sitting in the background alongside Arkister. <laughs> nice. Good cover up there after the up air. He tries to go for a big play, but unfortunately no tech. Honestly, he I feel like he didn't have time to go for a tech there because he didn't think he had yeah. the opportunity to attack, but that was very smart from Night Knowing, expecting Lumbre to run off stage and go for the down air after getting caught with the PK fire. PK uh, and just going for the, yeah, the PK, no, PK fire. And, uh. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, using the Shoryuken early. Wow. Back throw across the stage, who cares? Oh, that's a, oh, okay. Uh, I thought that was a broken shield. That was close, though. <laughs> that I, was so I, close. I feel like Loombre let that go the last second and said, I'd rather take the damage from the shield break because the shield break couldn't mean the stock in the game. Oh, man. We already saw Nido push Nitro off the stage. Don't want that to happen again. Yep. That's not how you want to lose a game going into a game five. Literally, Loombre is saying anybody but me. Oh, this is damage, and it I felt like those old four days, honestly, were coming up to confirm it to assure you. Back throw, I like that play from Moonbrae. I like this other play, too, because he only hits himself so he can get that bounce so he can survive a possible hit from Nito. Okay, using the PK Thunders to make sure he's able to land safely on the ledge. But oh. that platform coming in clutch for Lumbre. <laughs> he gets the tech of the nick of time, too. Couple empty hops, I like it. That's kind of showing Lumbre a little bit of adaptation. He's hopefully not in his head a little bit within himself. Second back air attempt, PK Thunder. PK Thunder and the tail is going to you know, be, the, be the, the clutch factor that Lumbre needs. He kind of stopped himself after that forward air and made sure he had him back on the stage. Back throw, even with Ken's weight, that will do it. 3-1 coming out from Lumbre. I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, this IEPR, Definitely gonna look a lot different, but the SoCal PR will feel different. Man, we haven't been able to meme IE for so long. It's so. I feel like we're <laughs> it not feels even like SoCal anymore. We're just the IE. We're part of the IE, man. IE nations taking names. I'm telling you, they they were a meme. They came out. They started doing well. They had their players like Razo, um, Orochi. When he was known as Orochi Wolf. Right, those were like their two. Rip Orochi 